there and uh, welcome back to the Horse Box Camper YouTube channel. In today's video I want to take you through one of the major upgrades we want to make to Booby Doo before we go full time and that is um, we want to install a recirculating shower. We only hold 95 litres of fresh water on Booby Doo so two or three showers and that'll be virtually gone. So the whole premise behind the recirculating shower, um, and I'm sure I'm preaching to the converted here, is um, you capture your water from the bottom of the shower tray, run it through a series of filters and put it back into a holding tank ready to be pumped back up through the shower, hence the uh, name. So what I'd like to do is just run you through this mock-up I've done of the um, thing. And this is a very specific size, this mock-up. This is the size that I have space-wise in where I want it under the skirts of the lorry to be able to um, build this. So what I'll do is zoom in, talk you through all the bits and pieces, and then I will show you a quick demonstration of it in action. Okay, so uh, here we are zoomed in. So um, the whole shower system is going to basically start with a tank of um, hot, clean water. And to heat our water, we're going to um, use the um, heat exchanger for a Chinese diesel heater that is um, done by Bobble Vans. Um, absolutely fantastic piece of kit and can't wait to get it installed. So essentially what it is, is it's two sort of PC um, heat exchangers bolted onto the front of your Chinese diesel humpty heater and then a little pump pumps it through, oh, thermostatically controlled. I first got the um, idea for it when I saw a brilliant um, video by a guy, Alex, uh, Mispronounced Adventures. If you, um, He's building a um, Ford Transit camper and the thing is stunning, it really is. It's going to be amazing when he's finished it. So um, that's where I uh, got an awful lot of the inspiration for this from. So, as I say, we start off with a 18 litre water tank and the Bobble Vans heat exchanger should be able to heat that within 10 minutes. So what will happen is the a pickup pump will take the hot clean water out of that tank, up, through the shower head, back down, and then underneath the um, shower tray, you will capture the water in a five litre holding tank. The premise behind this is you capture the water in a holding tank like this, you're not waiting for the pump to pump everything around all the filters, so therefore your shower tray isn't filling up. So the we have two pumps in the system, so the um, second pump will pick up from the dirty water tank, take it through a spin down filter which basically filters out all the large particles like dirt, hair, stuff like that runs it through, takes it through a 20 micron sediment filter, then a 5 micron sediment filter, and then a activated carbon um, or charcoal filter at the end. And then the final part of it, it runs all the water through a UV steriliser, which will basically kill bacteria and all the nasties in the water. And then the water comes back along the pipe and gets dumped in back into the hot water tank and because the Chinese diesel heater heat exchanger is running all the time you'll have an initial drop as all the cold water that's in the filters so you need to just run the shower for a couple of minutes let all the temperatures equalize and then jump in and you can basically have because some people call them the hour-long shower so uh, right let's do a quick demo um, I'm probably not going to talk through this bit because the pumps will be so noisy but I will um, do a bit of a um, voiceover. So here we go. So before I uh, keep an eye on the uh, shower head, we have flashing LEDs in the shower head as well. So there we go. I know I was um, asking you to suspend disbelief by uh, trying to work, uh, pretend
pretend this galvanized bucket was two separate bins, but that is basically the basic premise of the recirculating shower. So um, our next video in this series will be the shower installed in situ where I will actually talk you through the, um, the whole thing. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, if you like this video um, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you fancy uh, following along for the adventure um, and finding out what else we're going to be doing to uh, booby do the horse box camper before we move in full time please consider subscribing and if you hit the little bell notification um, YouTube will tell you when um, random videos like this come along in the future. So uh, once again thanks for watching.